Are your warren ones feeling like a waste of time? Imagine transforming this meeting from awkward status updates into powerful sessions that boost your team engagement, accelerate career growth, and build a stronger relationship with your teammates. By the end of this video, you will have a proven framework that has helped hundreds of technical leaders turn their one-on-ones into their most valuable leadership tool. Hey there, if you're new here, I spent over a decade in software development, with the past seven years in leadership and the last four coaching technical leaders. Before we get into the how of one-on-ones, let's talk about why this matters so much. Did you know that 86% of employees who have regular one-on-ones report higher job satisfaction? Yet, most technical leaders I coach I admit they are not getting the most out of these meetings. Let's change that today with a framework I call the 4P method. Preparation, process, presence, and progress. Part 1. Preparation. Setting the foundation. First, let's talk about the logistics. The most successful one-on-one -on -one follow these basic rules. Schedule 30 minutes bi-weekly meetings. Make them sacred. Treat them as important as planning meetings. Create a shared agenda document where both parties can contribute. Review the agenda before the meeting. Following these simple tips, you should arrive to the meeting well prepared. Part 2. Process. The meeting structure. Now let's get into the how you structure the meeting. First 5 minutes is what I call connecting. Start with small talk. Ask about a personal detail that the person shared in the last meeting. If you follow step one, this should be simple. Use this time to check emotional temperature because you need to adapt the meeting to each participant. Next 10 minutes. Now let's get to an important section, which I call updates and challenges. Let the other person lead the conversation. Focus on removing obstacles. I make a point of asking, is there anything I can help you with? Discuss immediate concerns. The following 10 minutes, you talk about the future in what I call growth and development. For example, long-term career goals, skill development, and upcoming opportunities. Final five minutes, which is what most people skip. I call this section action items. Define clear next steps for you and the other person. Be specific on commitments you expect progress on. Define a timeline for follow-ups. I know you're ready to leave this video, but hear me out, because here's where most leaders mess up they dominate the conversation. This was for sure something I did. Remember the 90-10 rule. Your team member should be talking 90% of the time. You are there to listen, guide, and support. Part 3. Presence. The art of active listening. The key to transformative one-on-one -on -one is how you show up. Here are the game-changing questions I use. What's energizing you right now? Where do you feel stuck? What support do you need from me? What's one thing we could improve? Also, please take notes during these conversations. It shows you care and helps track progress. I use a simple system in Notion. I use this template. Title. It has the person and the date. Previous meeting. I link to previous meetings with this person and read through my notes. Context. Here I write down what we talk about. Discussion. Here I write down the questions I have for this person and also any action item. Part 4. Progress following through. The real progress actually happens between meetings, so create a system to track commitments, follow up on action items, and document growth over time. Lastly, I want to mention the most common pitfalls to avoid, cancelling or rescheduling frequently. It sends a message that they are not important. Turning the meeting into a status update. If you follow my structure, this will not happen. Not taking notes. It's crazy the number of people that go to meetings and don't take notes. Please give it a try. It will transform you. Failing to follow up. Checking between meetings is a great way to ensure progress every meeting. Lastly, doing all the talking. I used to do this because I was nervous and monopolized the conversation. So shut up and listen. All this I give you, consider it as a guide because every meeting will have a different energy and it's better to let the energy flow. But if your meetings are not productive, then definitely give it more structure and the progress should follow. If you don't have a place to store your meeting notes, people growth plan and all information necessary to be a super leader, then this video is for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.